Hello everyone, welcome to this YouTube video. My name is Adeshola Olaiton. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today I'm creating a video on how you can collect your current payments using PayPal. So if you are a consultant, if you are if you offer services to people, a subscription-based service to people, and you need them to pay you on on a monthly basis so you can use you can use paypal to collect that kind of payment you can use paypal to you can send your paypal link to collect that kind of payment or also or also embed it the paypal subscription link on your website whereby if people want to pay to be a member of your group or pay for the subscription of one of your service yeah or pay for one of your service basically so that's that's that so for you to do this you need to have a paypal business account paypal business account is easy to create just go to paypal.com and you select paypal for business or go on google type paypal for business and create your paypal for business account it is very very important for you to to achieve this kind of thing so the first thing you need to do is to go to once you come to your dashboard when you log in if you have a paypal account just log into your dashboard here once you log into your dashboard come to pay and get paid so once you come to pay and get paid you will see something like subscription click on subscription you need to create a plan you need to create a subscription plan on PayPal for you to collect payment, for you to collect a subscription payment using PayPal. Click on create plan. Then you tell them, you tell PayPal about your product. So you can type monthly, you can say your product. And you can give it any name of your choice. Let me, for the sake of this video, I'm using monthly marketing consulting. So I put slash, let's say they are paying me $500 monthly. So you type a, you type your, your product description here. It's very, very important. I, I'm just pasting the same thing here. You are not supposed to paste the same thing here. So your product ID, I will leave it for, I will leave it to, I will leave it to PayPal to generate a PayPal to a product ID for me. The next thing is product type. Let's click on this product type. We have physical goods, we have digital goods, and we have services. So let's do services. And you select your industry. What kind of industry do you operate in? Let me just leave it as advertising for now. Then you put, where will your customer find this subscription product on your website? So I have a website. I have a page that I want us to use. That I just created a dummy page. You should use your your exact page for this. So let's use this dummy page. There's nothing on this dummy page. So let's just put it page URL, product image URL. What's the URL of this subscription product image? What's the URL of this subscription product image? So you can put, put the same thing there. If you have a if you have an image URL, you can put it there. So the next thing you do is to click on next. Once you click on next, you have a product. You have a pro if you have other product that you have created before, you see them here. So you just choose this. If you want to search, you can search for other product that you have here, but all your product will be listed here. So create is so at this point, that's when you will now create a subscription product. So select your product so that you can create, select the product, your product so that you can create a subscription for it at this point. So you select it. We have selected the product we just created. Then you click on next. Once you click on next, you will see. Choose the kind of subscription plan you want to offer, simple or sophisticated. So we have fixed price. Charge customer the same price each billing cycle based on the plan the subscriber chooses. 
quantity pricing, charge subscriber the same price each billing cycle based on the plan the, the subscriber chooses. So I will choose fixed price for the sake of this video because the prices, the price will not change. Then I'll click on next. Then I will come to plan name. You can still put your plan name, put it to be monthly marketing consulting. You can give it a name of your choice and also provide plan description. Provide plan description, then you click on next. Once you click on next, you see the currency. If you charge people in dollars, change this to US dollars. So because the generally accepted currency in the old world is US dollars, so you change this to US dollars price, charge a one-time set of fee. If you want to charge people a one-time set of fee, but I don't do that. So you do it, you stick this, but I won't do it. Offer a trial period. I'm not, if you're offering a trial period, you can select this, but I won't select that for this for the sake of this video. So if you have unlimited billing cycle, if your subscription period is for one year, just choose, put the $500 and put it to year. So one cycle. So every, so 500 each, 500 price is 500 every one year if it is one year if it is months every month so you come to you change your cycle your cycle to be 12 if it is a one year plan so you need to understand this you are charging people 500 dollars every one month every every month every month and the circle for the next 12 12 months so the circle is 12 if you change the circle to be six it means your subscription plan is six months so but we are doing 12 so don't calculate calculate the tax for this subscription i will put this to don't calculate tax so the next thing you need to do next is how many missed billing cycle you need to set miss billing cycle before this so a subscription is forced. So for me, I'll put this to let's say let's I'll just put it to two. So turn on to billing of outstanding payment. Yes, turn this on. Then once you are satisfied with all this setup, you click on next. Once you click on next, you verify all or you verify your product details your plan details that you've set up, the pricing, every one month, numbers of billing, 12, which is the next, which is the next one year. So if you are so if you are okay with all this setup, you just click on turn on plan. Then your plan will be set up. So all you need to do next is to all you need to do next is can you see set up your PayPal checkout experience for subscription? So uh, you need to customize this if you want to change this. But me, I'm not changing this. This is giving PayPal look and feel. So, but I will change this to PayPal only. So uh, the button text should be PayPal only. So just leave it to PayPal. Your landing page should do the justice. So the next thing you need to do is to now embed the code. You can copy the code. If you copy this code, there's a code here. Copy a code. That's how you can embed it on your website. So come to your website, then go to your landing page. If you use WordPress to build your landing page, just go to your landing page. This is our page. Let's say you can create a new page. For you to create a new page, go to page and add new. So, but we have a page already. So, how can you how can you embed that code, your subscription plan, so that if you have anybody that wants to pay and they, you want them to, they are paying for a course or they are paying for your service and they will be paying every month. PayPal will be charging them every month. So, and you want to embed it on your landing page. You use WordPress to build the landing page. Landing page. Just click on edit here to edit the page. If you edit the page, then how can you embed it after you've uh, after you've created the page if it's an existing page 
click on this, click on this small button, this plus button and search custom HTML. This is custom HTML, add custom HTML and paste the custom HTML here. So you can also preview it, preview it. Can you see? You can preview it so people can pay, people can pay with debit card, they can pay with PayPal. So, so that's it. This is how it will look like on your website. So people can pay and subscribe. So the next thing you need to do is to go to plan. If you have, so you save this. Also, you need to update this or save or publish your page. The page you, you embedded, you embedded the, the subscription code. So, and that's all. If you come here now, can you see the status? If you come back to your PayPal account, you will see that, you will see your product name, you will see your subscription plan, mark, monthly marketing consulting, you will see the status to be turned on. And if you have active subscription, PayPal will give you the numbers of people as they subscribe to your subscription or monthly plan that you've created using PayPal. So you can embed this code, that same code we copied, you can embed it on Wix, you can embed it on any landing page builder of your choice or any landing page builder of your choice that you are using or that you built your landing page or your website on. You can embed it, just copy that code. If you can't do it yourself, copy that code, send it to a web developer. Your web developer will embed it on your landing page, on your web or your website, and people will click on it. When people click on it, they have two options. It's either they use their own PayPal account to pay for your subscription, or to pay for the plan they are subscribing to, or they use a debit or credit card, and the payment will be collected. Thank you so much for watching this video. I believe you gain value in this video if you are here to subscribe to my youtube channel i will encourage you to do that like this video subscribe to my youtube channel and also share this video with people you know it will help thank you so much